Hello everybody again on Simply Fodia YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your positive feedback. And first of all, I want to thank Mr. Steve Pepper, the chair at Harrogate and District Health and Safety Forum, and also Mr. Steve was the admin of Food Safety UK Facebook group. I want to thank him actually for his revision and correction for each slide in this presentation. If you want to visit his website, it was www.steve-pepper.co.uk. Okay, there is a correction about the previous video as mentioned by Mr. Steve about the usage of metal buttons on aprons which are mainly in food factories. While in catering, they don't have metal detector as a control. So they wear either the Velcro, which contains hook and loop fastener tape. Okay, and also they sometimes wear the press studs. There is personal items handled by food handlers also may cause physical contamination for the product like cigarette butts, fire matches, metal coins, metal bottle caps, mobile earphones, drug spills medication, wooden toothpicks. Also there's any office tools which can be forming a source of contamination, physical contamination for the product like broken pen plastic parts, wooden pencil trash, and the mechanical pencil different parts back pencil rubber, staples, paper clips, push pins. The uniform or apron or towels, like as mentioned here, the torn towels parts or any threads from aprons, clothes or towels. So let's go directly to the main category today with the the continuing of the sources of the physical hazard. So now we'll talk about the possible source of physical hazard in food three number three which is site origin the site origin will talk about four factors during food preparation and storage stage from equipment and tools from machines and during and after maintenance the first thing during food preparation like burnt food parts you can see this burnt food parts also from rusty cooking surfaces or carbon residues, maybe from poor condition cutting or chopping boards, or oh, this uh, chopping boards also may be a source. Maybe also during the food preparation due to traces of contamination from ovens, microwaves, and other surfaces due to ineffective cleaning. And you can see in the both of the pictures, maybe from the top of the ovens. Also in the kitchen, maybe from the buildup of grease, condensation, flaking or loose parts from the cooking ventilation system. This ventilation, this ventilation system may cause physical contamination when the food was prepared under this unclean or condensation or buildup of grease in this, uh, on the product. Maybe also from the kitchen machine parts like mixed bowl or dough hook, beater or egg whisk. Maybe also from food grinder, food chopper, food processor, food mixer, the fryer and the toaster. All these tools and all this equipment may be a factor of physical contamination. And uh, at the end of my presentation, I want to thank Mr. Steve Pepper, the chair at Harrogate and District Health and Safety Forum, and also Mr. Steve was the admin of Food Safety UK Facebook group for his revision and correction for each slide in this presentation. Thank you again very much, Mr. Steve. If you want to visit his website, it was www.steve-pepper.co.uk. Thank you very much, everybody, and you're always welcome to give me your feedback. Thank